Hey folks, okay, um, right now I want to show you how to uh, put together and code your first basic Arduino circuit. Um, right now I got this thing hooked up uh, so that uh, I'm powering it off the 5 volt output of the Arduino. Um, if you've been keeping up with what we're doing in class, that's the first little mini circuit we've already done. Um, and so I got the 5 volt uh, going through the red wire. It's common to use, you know, red for whatever the high voltage of your circuit is. Uh, that's connected to the same row as the uh, resistor which is connected uh, to the long lead of the LED, which is connected back around to where the uh, black wire is, and the black wire is connected back to ground. So that makes a complete circuit. Now, this particular circuit does not let me actually control anything. Um, here with the Arduino, we've got a huge, uh, powerful capacity to actually make things happen and control what's happening in the circuit. Um, but as it's hooked up right now, it's just providing a steady 5-volt uh, output. So if I want to actually control this LED, I need to use one of the digital pins um, on the board. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these, uh, they're, they're called pins, um, and they're uh, digital, except for the ones with the little squiggly mark next to it, and that uses uh, something called pulse width modulation to get a uh, almost analog signal. Um, but for right now, we just need one of these pins. I'm going to move the pin that's on 5 volts to uh, 13. I'll just check and make sure I got that lined up. Uh, all right, and so to actually control the LED, I've got to write just a little bit of code uh, to tell the Arduino what to do. So I'm going to swing back over here to where I've got the Arduino desktop software opened up, and I'm going to write some very quick code. Um, at the top of this file, I'm going to create a variable called LED it's going to be an integer and it's going to correspond with uh, the number uh, that I have this red wire plugged into which in this case is 13. Um, there's actually a better uh, less memory intensive way of uh, keeping track of variables like this uh, but for right now we're just going to keep it simple and use um, an integer variable. Um, now we know that the setup code runs exactly uh, once when our, our board is initialized and to get my uh, digital pin to work I've got to set the pin mode uh, to an output because I want to essentially create a electrical output signal through uh, this red wire to turn the LED on. Um, you can also specify these pins to be inputs. Um, if I want to turn an LED on I'm going to need that to be an output. Uh, be careful here output's got to be in all caps uh, that is a keyword a key variable that the uh, Arduino understands. All right, so that's saying my LED pin, which up here is pin 13, uh, should be an output. Now let's actually get it to output something. Um, so for these digital pins to get a digital electrical signal, which uh, as we've discussed can be either high voltage or low voltage corresponding to on, off, one, zero, if you're thinking like in computer uh, language. Um, the function is uh, digital, right? Careful with a W. The W's got to be capitalized, uh, just like the M's got to be capitalized in pin mode. Um, and this function takes two arguments. Uh, the pin that I want to uh, control, which is going to be obviously my LED pin. Uh, and to turn the LED on, I want to send that a high voltage signal. And so that's going to turn the LED on. Now, if I want to specify how long this LED should be turned on, um, I need to uh, add a delay. So if, our, if I want this LED to be turned on for, I don't know, half a second, um, delay takes an argument of milliseconds. And so 1,000 milliseconds would be a second. So 500 um, milliseconds would be half a second. Now, we remember that this loop repeats itself over and over and over again until you remove power from the board. And so right now, if I walk through what this code is doing, it's turning the LED on, waiting, turning the LED on, waiting, turning the LED on, waiting, etc. There's nothing here to turn this off. And so with this first program, we want the LED to blink. Um, I'm going to have to add a little bit of code. Digital write. Uh, I'm going to use the same digital write function, um, still the same pin that I'm trying to turn on and off. And so to turn this pin off, um, I want to set this to low, which will correspond to low voltage, or in this case, you know, zero volts, um, approximately. 
and I'm going to add in a brief delay indicating how long I want this uh, LED to be off before it cycles through the loop again. So let's maybe say I want it to turn off for uh, the same amount of time. We'll call it half a second or 500 milliseconds. And so reading through this code, turn the LED on for a half a second, turn it off for half a second, go back up here and do the same thing uh, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. That should get my LED to blink. Now, that's my code. I still got to send this code to the Arduino. Uh, first things first, uh, go up to tools. Uh, make sure that you have the USB port connected to your uh, board. Um, if you only got one board connected to your computer, it should be only one thing that shows up. Uh, here, so just make sure that's selected. Um, I'm going to hit the check mark. That's going to verify our code to make sure there's no errors, such as missing semicolons or missing brackets or incorrect variables or some, something like that. I'm going to spec upload there. That's going to send the code to the Arduino. Um, and lo and behold, uh, my LED is blinking. Uh, congratulations, guys. You now have uh, the capacity to control electricity with your mind.